make the good times last. Remind me why we're in a mall. Because our prof said we have to interview women from all walks of life. Fine. Whoa, check out the hottie in the lemon hat. This ought to be good. Hey. Hey! Hmm. I'm strangely reminded of the mating habits of the woodland baboon. We're journalist students at Brownstone College doing a thesis uh, on... Can we interview you? Sure! Great. And rolling. So, uh, um... Caitlin. Caitlin, uh, do you feel your job is colored by society's view of women? Yes! I would love to be viewed by the world in colors that don't have to match lemon yellow. But with my job, that's just not gonna happen. And cut! Wow, the way you used a lemon to symbolize women's burden was unbelievable. Yeah, I'll say. So, what's your major? Oh, well, I'm into major fashion, major shopping, and major retail. <laughs> You have such a great sense of humor. Uh, you at Brownstone? Uh, yeah. Bye, Jen. Who's that? Oh, uh, Jen and Nikki are my college girlfriends. We're college roommates living in our college dorm. Uh, so maybe we could go for coffee sometime. I'd love to. See you on campus. <laughs> Can you believe this? I have a date with a real-life college guy. You do know that Preppy thinks you're in college, don't you? Oh, I can pass for a college student. No problem. Why do I get the feeling you're in a speeding car heading right over a cliff? Mmm, <laughs> Josh. Hey there, fellow freshmen. <gasps> You're, <clears throat> you're wearing jeans? Uh, how did you know how to put them on? <laughs> my first date with my first college guy. I'm so mature. <laughs> Love the blazer. Isn't it cute? It's tweed. I think I'm ready for it. Check out my piece de résistance. <laughs> I got them at Four Eyes Supplies. Do they make me look serious? <laughs> Seriously demented. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Nikki, laugh all you want, but I know I can pull this off. Yeah, except I'm over here. Um, Caitlin, you might want to replace the lenses in those glasses so they're not prescription. No, no, I'm fine. I've got it all under control. As of today, I am totally mature. Hey! Ouch! Ouch. Oh, boy. You guys are not gonna believe the new slack job I got. You are looking at the next mall walker's guide in the flesh. Dude, you're an escort for old dudes and dudettes? I prefer the word chaperone. When does it start? Already has. I'm working right now. I've got at least a half hour till the old guy catches up to me. Cool. Which will buy me a lot of spare time to hunt for hotties. Nice. Hey, there's a bottom of the cup contest on the bottom of my cup. Awesome. What does it say? Whoa, the winner gets a pair of jet skis and many more amazing prizes. Please try again. Don't mind if I do. Hey, that's <laughs> mine. Uh, 10 coffees to go, please. Organometallic chemistry? Basic machine learning? I can't go to college without a proper curriculum. Here I am, world. Caitlin Cook, freshman. You look perfect, Caitlin. Yeah, but what are you going to talk to Josh about? How you can't wait until you're old enough to vote? I'll avoid politics. How your mom extended your curfew to 10 o'clock? Actually, it's 11. You have to talk about topical, newsworthy events that provoke stimulating conversation. Well, maybe after the first couple of dates, you'll be more comfortable and Josh will like you for who you are. Yes! <laughs> Please! Make me college friendly! 
It's not like we can go on the date with you. That's it. I know how we can help you. Have you ever heard of the phrase, phoning it in? Well, Mrs. Bingham, how be I meet you at the end of this hall, say, in half an hour? You're my guide, which means you guide me, lazy loaf. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to get all serious about the job description, do we? <sighs> oh, no. Chick alert. This is embarrassing. Let go of me. <laughs> Aw, that is so sweet. It is? You're spending time with your grandmother? How adorable. I am? Adorable? Uh, yeah, well, you know what they say. A garden of love grows in a grandmother's heart. Don't talk twaddle. Ah. You said you wanted to go off on your own. <sighs> Granny, you know I was just going to get you some ginger for your tummy. Aww. We have to go now, Granny. Your bunions start expanding at this time of day. You don't know bunions. Ooh. And oh. you're not my grandson. Oh. Uh. Granny hasn't been herself since the accident, but I'll always be there for her. Aww. Here's my number. Uh. Ow! What do you mean you put a big screen TV? Do I look okay? Remember, it's not your looks he's after, it's your brains. Yeah, right. You run into trouble, we'll text you what to say next. Nikki, you logged onto the internet okay? Check. Caitlin, is your phone on? Check. Okay then, let's test this baby out. Hello? Good. Now drop it in your pocket and see if I can still hear you. Try saying something mature. This is Mission Impossible. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Loud and clear. Hey, Caitlin. Wow, you look great, Caitlin. Uh, ready to go? Yes, I just returned from the student rally. Go team! Uh, great. Oof. <clears throat> Oops. Nothing. Hey. Ah! Don't do that, dude! You know, maybe you better slow down there, Jude. I gotta win, dude. The more I try, the better chance I have. Okay, I can't argue with that logic, but don't you think this is kind of extreme? Yes! Coffee break! I could use a coffee. Jude, wait up! You gotta stop! <laughs> Wow, so you're saying you studied Renaissance art? Oh, uh, yeah. Renaissance art. Particularly the works of the late Middle Apes. I mean, ages. Oops. Sorry about the typo. Laugh out loud. Ah! She wasn't supposed to read that last part. He's gonna think she's a total loser. I don't know what you just said about monkey art, but that's what I like about you, Caitlin. You're so quirky. <laughs> Uh, how long are we gonna have to keep this up? Quick! She just told Josh she went to a Stephen Hawking lecture. Stephen Hawking? I'm on it. Bye, dudes. Bye, dudes. She just needs to know who Stephen Hawking is. Whoa! A double-double half-pump mochaccino, sweet! Hey! Oh, man! Bummer! I really needed that! Well, what about my laptop? There you are. Jude, you gotta get yourself together, man. Please try again. Okay, dude. I said okay. This laptop is seriously messed up. That's not the only thing. Hey, you know what I could go for right now? A coffee. Wait, Jude! Stop! You're paying for the repairs, Jude. Maybe I can help. Ugh! Ow! Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Not really. Oh no, Caitlin! Ow! Ow! Forget about Stephen Hawking. It's you I'm interested in. Aww. Drink and peel, drink and peel, drink and peel, drink and peel. No! You're losing it! Sorry, sir. Hey, careful, man. My grandfather has arthritis. You're so sweet. I had a great time tonight, Caitlin. Me 
too. I think we should take our relationship to the next level. Oh, I have a very strict policy about not kissing on the first date. Cool. What I meant was, I'd like to get to know your friends. You want to get to know my friends? Yeah, I just thought if... It... <sighs> what was I talking about? Um, I think it was something about the Stephen Hawking lecture. No, weren't we talking about... Uh, who cares what we were talking about, right? Uh, ow! <sighs> Listen, you guys have to help me. Josh wants to meet you. I can't fend him off anymore. My lips are chafed. Okay, I have to hear this one. Josh wants to take the relationship to the next level. All right, going for second base. No, to him, the next level means hanging with my friends. Yeah, I've done... what? Every time he brings it up, I kiss him, you know, to distract him. But it's not working anymore. How could that not work? Wait a sec. If meeting the friends is the next level, then I've gone there a couple times. Would that be considered second base? Hanging with the friends is not even on the base. I mean, you're not even in the stadium yet, buddy. You are still at home, digging in the couch, looking for bus fare to get to the stadium. I think we get it, Jonesy. Sheesh, just a question. What's the big deal? So we hang with Josh. Well, if he meets you guys, he'll find out I'm not in college. Then we'll be through. So you want us to pretend to be college students? Please, just this last favor. As a friend. This is heading to a very bad place. Nothing? Nope. Nada. Give it up, bro. They're calling my name, dude. Dude, just relax. Dude? There they go again. Shh. They're saying, Jude, drink me. Then check my bottom to see if I'm the winning cup. I'm sorry, Jude. I hate to do this, but I have no choice. Ow! Thanks. Ow! Thanks. Ow! Thanks. Ow! Thanks. Ow! Thanks. Ow! Thanks. <laughs> what are you doing? Tough love. You're cut off. Okay, guys. Ready to get your college game on? As long as it's just this once and then the horror will be over. Deal. Oh, here they come. Everybody, this is Josh and Connor. Jen, Nikki, and Jonesy. Hey. 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 So, you guys in first year with Caitlin? Uh-huh. So, what's your major? Oh, uh... She's in astrology. Astrology? Uh, don't you mean astronomy? Astrology, astronomy, who cares about one little letter? The universe is so profound, I think it's really arrogant to put such restrictive titles on things. Hey, what happened to your hands? Oh, it happened in class. We were doing a, an archaeological dig. Don't you have shovels for that? We're seriously underfunded. Ah, uh, I know what that's like. Isn't it cool the way we're all studying such interesting sub- ah! <laughs> Hey, we haven't met. I'm Josh. I'm in journalism. Jonesy, I'm really into the female anatomy, if you get my drift. You're a gynecology student? Uh, okay. One of my dorm buddies is specializing too, so you must be an intern. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, there's one of my patients now. Oh. Duty calls. That's your patient? I don't get it. Hey, who's the doctor around here? Well, we gotta get back to the dorm. We're electing a pizza steward today. Yeah. Oh, but hey, maybe later on we could all meet for a flick. Sure. Sounds great. You said this was the last time. Oh, brother. Do you mind going a little faster? We have a date at the Gigantoplex in 10 minutes. We do? Dude, don't tell Wyatt. That coffee narc is on me like a hawk. Yeah! You're hardcore, dude. I wish I could get my mall walkers to jump like that. Hey, that's it. Dude, you can keep ordering your coffee. Yes! You just won't drink it. Why are you messing with my mind, dude? He drinks it. That way, you can still save the cups to try and win, and... My rental grandpa's moving faster! You're a genius, Wyatt! Hey, wait up! 
Please try again. Everybody, this is my other college friend, Wyatt. Hey. Hey. Hi. I really want to see Bludgeon Coets 4. It's supposed to be brutal. But it's restricted. Aren't all the good movies? Of course they are. Good point. Bludgeon Coets 4? I've seen it. Not as gory as 2 and 3. Really? How did you see it? It's just opening tonight. Oh, well, uh, my dad directed it, so he gave me an advanced screening. Your dad's Fang Yin Li? Yes. Cool. How about Flowers for My Boyfriend instead? It's a romantic comedy. Cool. Yeah. It's all good. OK. <laughs> that was such a sweet movie. Right. Like a guy would give up a trip around the world so he could bring flowers to his girlfriend. Sounds like he overcame a classic case of commitment phobia. You a psych major or something? How wild! He is! Aren't you, Wyatt? Yeah, I'm taking a course called... <laughs> Addictions and the Tough Love Road to Recovery. Hey, you in Bartlett's class too? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's wrong with your friend? Oh, don't draw attention to him. He's the subject for an assignment I'm working on. <laughs> Man, you take those assignments seriously. I was just gonna write an essay. So here I was, outside on the ledge of the 31st floor, both mother and her newborn triplets healthy and happy. Wow, isn't that amazing, Connor? That can't be good. I'm sure he's fine. Is he gonna be all right? The paramedic said it's just overexertion. He should be fine. Then I don't get why I got fired. I can't believe you lied to me and you took advantage of those nice elderly people. It's not my fault. How was I supposed to know we had a pacemaker? Ladies. You have to use the only language men understand. Drink and peel, drink and peel, drink and peel. Whoa, this is freakier than Frosh Week. Is there a doctor around here? A lady is stuck in the change room at the khaki barn. I think she's gonna have a baby. <gasps> That's okay. Jonesy here is a fifth-year gynecology student. <gasps> but Jonesy's not... Jonesy's not the kind of doctor to shy away from this emergency. Are you, Jonesy? I'm really not up for it. <laughs> ah! Yeah, you'll do. Come on. What in the heck is that? <laughs> Holy man. <laughs> I don't believe this. Ah! Yeah, a live birth happening right in the change room. There's something in there! No! These halter tops are two for $15. Ah! <laughs> so, your friends are great. Really? Thanks. I think so. Caitlin, there's something I want to, uh... The answer is yes. Yes, I'll go to the college formal with you. I already bought a uh, dress. Oh. I know, I know. I should have asked you what color you were wearing so we could coordinate. Does it have a return policy? Wow. You really take your color coordinating seriously. Not really. Then why would you ask about the return policy? <gasps> You're breaking up with me. I'm really sorry, Caitlin. I can't believe this. Why? Is it because of my friends? Actually, yeah, they're just too, too... Too what? Serious. I mean, they're going on archaeological digs in Peru and delivering babies in submarines. I'm in college. I just want to have fun. But so do I. Caitlin, it's okay that we're different. But... The thing is, I found someone else. I'm sorry, but we've got a lot more in common. Josh? <gasps> there you are. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Well... Good luck getting your PhD, Caitlin. I'm sure you'll do great. See you on campus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
Seven days and no coffee. Yeah, I think I finally stopped shaking yesterday. You won, Jude! You won! I found your last coffee cup on the floor back there. It's a winner! No oh, nice. way! What did I win, dude? Free coffee for a year! I'll take that.